Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and welcome back to our channel Kumar Programming. Today we are going to create a new series in Next.js where we are going to build an online e-commerce search store application which is going to be built in Next.js 15 and React 19 which are the latest version from Next.js and React. Also we are going to use SortCN component library along with the Tailwind CSS. Also we are using Prisma ORM tools and for the database we are going to use postgresql so we are going to create a full stack complete tutorial so where we are going to build an application from scratch right from the designing development and deployment right so if you are looking to create an e-commerce website with modern tools so this is the perfect project for you we will cover everything from setting up the project, fetching product, adding item to the cards, handling authentication, processing orders, payments, sending reports, everything that we are going to use which is required in a project in a modern and scalable way. So if you are ready to dive into the world of Next.js full stack development, hit a like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Before we dive into the coding, let's quickly go through that tech stack we will be using in this project. So the first one tech that we are going to use is Next.js 15 for fast SEO friendly and scalable frontend with built-in API routes, right? And React we are going to utilize the latest React feature like server component and server rendering, right? And also we are going to use build everything on top of TypeScript. Most of the project is there in available which are in JavaScript, but this project is completely going to be used power of TypeScript, right? And also we are going to use Prisma ORM tool for interacting with our PostgreSQL database. And for the payment, we are using PayPal and Stripe. And also we are going to use sort C and UI component library along with the Tailwind CSS. And for the authentication, we are using next auth. And for the testing, we are going to use the just framework for the unit testing. And also for our form, we are going to use react form hook, right? And in order to have validation on form, we are going to use JOD validations. And eventually we are going to have deployment our project on Vercel. So by combining this technology, we will create a production ready online store with a secure authentication and a smooth checkout experience right now quickly have the demonstration of the project which will give you a better idea that what we are going to learn in this project so friend this is our project online suze store e-commerce application if you see this is the nice header we have over here and here at the very left side we have left sidebar after that we have logo of our application and here we have our business name our application name and here in the center we have the search functionality and this is for changing the theme. We can change our theme from light to dark. See how in dark, how this website look like. And we can change the theme to light. And this is cart. Obviously, as of now, we don't have anything in the cart. And here we have the sign in feature, right? So we have two kind of role. One is user role and another one is admin role. So admin can configure all those items product from the backend side. I'll show you. I'll I'll have the demonstration for both of the role to you. So this is the newest arrivals. And if you want to see the all product, you can click on here view all product. And if you have any kind of deal here, we are showing the deal on the home page. And this is some kind of information like free shipping, money back guarantee, flexible payment and 24 hours support kind of information at the very bottom. We have this our footer, right? So now here, if you want to see that all the products you can just click on the view all the products you would be able to see list of all the products here right i have around like seven six to seven products only here and the left side now you see that we have the search criteria on the basis of these search criteria we can filter out all these products and here we can sort our product by newest lowest highest and on the basis of rating right and here user can select this product and they can add this product to the cart right so this product is added in, into the cart now we can see into the cart see this product is already added in, into the cart now again go back i would like to buy something else so here i'll buy one more item this and i'll add this item as well to the cart deliberately i'm adding because i have given this one one dollar because of i have to do the payment also right so now now let me go to the cart so i would be able to see these two items right now if i proceed to check out it will ask me to sign in right so as of now this is the admin user right so i'm going to use as a um, user one user one at the rate user.com right and password and sign in right so now it's going to log in with the user right so once user is logged in then it will 
redirect to the shipping address page right and now here i can enter my detail so i'll enter as um, kumar programming enter address 41 new street city eden brahm postal code eh 11 7 py and country i'll enter as a united kingdom okay now press continue so once i'll come to the payment method here we have three type of payment method one is paypal stripe and cash on delivery so first of all i'm going to use the paypal i'll select this paypal now it come to the place order page right so here if you see on the place order page here we have our shipping address here we can edit our address and we have our default payment method as a paypal so here if you want to change your payment method you can click on edit and you can change the payment method as well and after that here we have list of all the items which we are going to order right so see here here we are having a one item as a monty sports shoes and pata office shoes right both of the quantity are one and here we are listing the price and now once we'll click on the place order it's going to place the order right and it's going to redirect to the order page so now here if you see order is being created if you see here this is my order id and order id this is the six digit last six digit of the order and here we have if you see the payment method the payment method is paypal payment is not paid as of now so order is not completed and if you see the shipping address this is my shipping address which is not delivered right so i'm going to pay with this paypal so i'll click on this paypal and it's going to ask me the paypal authentication right so here i have to give the paypal email id and password and i have to log in right so once it's going to be logged in it's going to ask to do the payment right so if you see here the paypal balances which is going to be deducted 3.49 right so i'm going to complete this purchase as soon as this purchase is going to be completed this payment method is going to be paid right so now see this payment method is going to be paid and now i can see my order so if you want to see your order you can see your order history from here now see this is my order and if you want to see your detail of your order you can see it from here right now from the admin side admin can change the status of delivery once item is delivered right so i'll now i'll try to log in with the admin login so i'll sign out from here and this is my admin login so i'm logging from here and now if you see i have directly redirected to the order page right and here i can see mark as a delivered because now i'm logged in as a admin login right so if i just mark it as a delivered see now it's marked as a delivered and this item is being delivered and completed right so now if i just log in through the user id now here i can see my item has been delivered right and also through the admin login we have the complete admin portal so now let's show you that admin portal as well i'll now i'll log in with the admin now if you come to the admin section here we have our admin right so in the admin we are going to see this nice dashboard where we are having a uh, detail for the total revenue total number of sell total number of customer and total number of product right and what how much sales are being there which is going to be displayed in a nice in a bar chart and also we are going to have a recent sales list of all the recent sales right and after that we have a product so in the product we are here we are going to have the list out all the product where we can create a product and we can edit or delete our product right so if you want to create a product you can just create a product over here right and if you want to edit a product you can just edit the product so here i'm going to edit this product i'll just provide the price i'll, I'll just change the stock right i'll change it from 10 to 12 and price i'll mark it as a 60 right so now let me update this so now if you see that the price is being changed is 60 right and similarly we can delete our product from here and after that i can see as an admin i can see the list of all the orders here right so see this is all my orders and last but not the least we have the user tabs right so in user we can see the list of all the users and admin can manage all those users as well right so and here we are going to sign out right and if you are a new user you can do the sign up into the project by providing your email id and password and name right so this is overall we are going to have the complete project which we are going to build up in next year's react and postgres database
this project is already live on presus store on rendy.com and if you want to explore it you can go there and you can explore it in the next video we will deep dive deeper into environment setup for this project including database and environment variables and best practices right and if you found this tutorial helpful do me a favor like this video to support me and my channel and subscribe my channel if you haven't already for more amazing content and share this with fellow developer who might find it useful and if you really love my work consider buy me a coffee to support more free tutorials link is given below in, in the description all right that's all for the day thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning